Hello, this is Fly Mama 777 and my name is Janice. I know it's been a minute. Um, I will do my best to try to make more videos. It's just with work and family, it's um, just challenging. And yes, as you can see, I do have a new hairdo or hair look. Um, it's getting warm now and I just really wanted something that was quick and easy and simple and no I did not cut my hair my hair is natural so I have been experimenting with wigs um, just so that I can one be very very flexible because time is of the essence and two um, I can just basically keep my hair braided for a time and a period without having to worry about disturbing my hair so um, on my channel, I will be doing um, a few of what I call beauty tips <laughs> and tricks. So, I mentioned on my other channel, which is um, I Am Unique in Him. Um, I do hair and so forth, but um, I started this line of wigs about a month ago. And this is my second one. I wanted something short this time because one, it is getting hot and... Being that I'm maturing more, I really want to find something that is closer to what I want to eventually get my hair to. So, um, this one is uh, is a pure natural Bohemian uh, wig, and this one is um, called Wig, wig Milky. Um, this is what it looks like. And you can actually use heat on this um, wig. It does. It is a blended wig. Um, and the heat curling on, you can use up to 377 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. But I have. I don't use heat. Um, you can just use really use your hands and make the adjustments. Um, the other thing that I want to say, um, please I apologize for my last series. Uh, a few videos that I made. Um, I'm using my iPad because I'm still trying to um, decide what I'm going to get a laptop because I do want to get a laptop or mini to carry in my um, luggage but I haven't decided what I want yet. It's between a mini and getting a Kindle and I love Kindles but I do want an iPad too. Uh, not an iPad but I do want to Laptop, so I'm just trying to find something that I like that is durable. Um, but on my iPad, for whatever reason, it cuts off my um, it cut off my videos. Um, I was doing like 21 minutes, and apparently it only allowed 15 minutes. So I really apologize for each of those. I know I cut off in the middle, or so forth, and um, if I can, I will go back and try to touch on some of the information that I did in those last videos. Um, so I'm going to try to make my videos no more than um, maybe 15, well, it has to be less than 15 minutes as long as I use this. Um, so um, I might do a series of videos in one day or once I decide what I'm going to do, I'll, I'll let you know. <laughs> um, so I just wanted to again apologize and thank you for all my subscribers, my friends that are uh, finding me over here, Kidney Girl and also uh, Pat, I know I saw you where you had to subscribe um, and I really appreciate you uh, dropping by and visiting my channel. Uh, the purpose of my channel is um, to talk about my career as a flight attendant but also as a mother. And as a wife, because I know that um, most flight attendants um, that people are, are traditionally used to seeing are, you know, younger and um, there's, you know, unmarried or single, or they may even be dating. Um, but um, there have been a few ladies that I know that um, are flight attendants that have been doing videos that are actually mothers. So I figured. You know, it would be a great idea because I'm sure that there are um, other people out there that would love to um, do this career, but they're concerned because they have children or they have spouses. And especially when you get um, assigned at a base that is away from your 
home. So we call that a domicile. Um, and just explain some of the challenges that you may find um, in the event that you decide that you want to become a flight attendant. I must say upfront and personal that Jesus Christ is my source. He is my source. He's my husband's and my daughter's source. And without him, I could not be doing this job. And I'm seriously saying that because, um, one, you're 30 to 40 feet, 1,000 feet up in the air or higher. <laughs> um, we go through turbulence. We go through different challenges. So um, just knowing that having the peace of God in my heart and knowing that I'm protected and that the passengers are protected and that I can call on the name of Jesus and it's like um he just encourages me and just let me know that everything is going to be all right so uh definitely I will be from time to time um you know quoting scriptures or referring for, to the Lord so I don't want to offend anybody um that's not my purpose but I do want you to know that I am a Christian a born again Christian and my faith is very important to me and to my family and I would be nowhere without him so um with that um I want to try to pick up a little bit again um there was a young lady that's a nurse um, that had mentioned that she'd been a nurse for like 20, I think 25 years or so forth. And I would say yes, if you um, want to look at a new career, um, you being a nurse, that is something great because you care for patients, you care for people, you get close and personal with them. And it really, really takes um, sometimes you have to be a little bit of everything. And that's what they train us to really be flexible um you know a lot of times people think that just because you're a flight attendant all you do is know how to serve cokes and peanuts but no we're trained uh to if there's an emergency to make sure everyone gets out including ourselves if there's a medical emergency we're trained in certain um procedures on um how to use certain equipment that we have on on the um airline airplane for uh, emergencies. Um, if there's a fire, we're trained to know how to find the fire in the in the plane and how to use the fire extinguishers or the water extinguishers to put those fires out. Um, so, um, and then we have a lot of, uh, it's getting ready to be summer, and there's a lot of parents who are divorced or um, maybe single parents that send their children unaccompanied so you know we have to be guardians over someone else's children as well to make sure that they get from one destination to another safely so there's a lot that a flight attendant does and even some things that um it's not necessarily in our manuals or whatever but it's just common sense that you know when uh there's a need you know we're equipped to be flexible to be able to make adjustments to those needs so um i'm gonna get ready to stop this particular video um and i just wanted this to sort of be like a um you know i start off to explain what the purpose of my videos are and i just want to encourage you if you're really really interested and becoming a flight attendant, continue to listen and to my videos. So not only mine, there are other flight attendants on here on YouTube that give really, really great information as well. So with that, I will talk to you in a few minutes. Peace and blessings.